the final product. The chicken skin is... It is so peaceful out here despite the challenges I faced a little bit on the walk his little man he's, I think he's tired but just being out in nature brings me so much joy I get asked from time to time like how do you do it how are you a mom of five kids and like how do you not go crazy going for walks is my thing it's therapy <laughs> Just being outside, breathing the nice fresh air, getting exercise, getting vitamin D. It is a game changer. Not only is it good for your health, but it is definitely good for your mental health. Like it's not just good for you physically, I should say, but it's good for your mental health and your overall well-being. And this is like therapy for me, especially I'm that one that's anticipating when um, spring hits so I can get out and walk and just yeah get and get the little ones involved because it's really good for the whole family to be active and you know just being out and about and getting vitamin D because in the winter we live in Canada and in, we have our heavy winters over here where we get no Sun little to no Sun and we're cooped up and I mean I take vitamin D supplements but it's not the same thing as just getting vitamin D in the summer, just out in the sun. We have, ew, I got, I got sand one in my mouth. Of them I don't know. <laughs> Help. I was talking and there's like a gravel of sand in my mouth. I could taste it. Stop. Yay. Oh gravel. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's so nice that these girls came out with me. You guys like, do you like going for a walk? I love going on walks, honestly. Yeah. I love it. This is when my summer? walking buddy. She actually does the most walking with me keeps me in shape I'm so excited when summer comes because when I was homeschooled I would go with mom on like at like 12 on I walks know, around know. the neighborhood yeah and I'm at school at 12 o'clock so <laughs> <laughs> exactly I, I try not to go at 12 because it's like the it's so hot these days I try but it's actually also difficult because in the evening it's it's a lot harder it's my watch is telling me that we paused our, our walk because I'm also trying to see you know what I'm doing while I'm out here it's like end walk now no. yeah no <laughs> dismiss please yeah. it's it's always a challenge deciding what's the perfect time to go for a walk I I'm home with the kids so in the summer I do like to go since we're not really doing schoolwork it's easier to get out in the day early in the morning and stuff exactly. like that yeah. so yeah that can be a challenge but then I also don't mind when you come home we can do like I can do a double walk in a day exactly. because oh. it feels so good just to keep my body moving when school is on it's harder to leave in the morning because I always want to prioritize the kids homeschool during that time and so we do that first and then by the time the evening comes around which would be the most ideal time since it's so hot midday it's a challenge because I have to get all these other things done yeah exactly. it's like you know time to it's basically just trying to get the house together trying to prepare a supper trying to go pick up a child from work to, it's just a lot going on <laughs> busy 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 so anyways I'm just so excited that we're out here again this is day two for me I was out here with the, the little ones yesterday but yeah. today we are just taking it up a notch even though I don't it's still weird when I come out with all the little ones if 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 I don't bring a jogger for this little one I'm not doing myself justice because I don't get to power walk the way I want to and we also brought a friend today Bessie Bessie are you slowing us down today actually no she's good you ready to go for the walk Mama. are you in a bed Ooh. Okay, the irony, the irony is when we were packing, when we left, Daddy. I gave them food and he didn't want to eat and now he's literally eating off everything that was brought. I literally brought four bear paws and he didn't, what, 
crazy. This is his third. Yeah, this is his third. Well, he's sharing. He's sharing it. So he's not. He hasn't eaten one package. He's only eaten oh, one and one. He's only, yeah, two the other one. Sure. So he's only eaten two. Uh, one and a half so far. Huh? Yeah, he's only eaten two. Mommy. <laughs> and oh, one thing we did today, we made sure that everyone's wearing hats because it is so hot. That and I'm known for getting sunstroke. Yes, and, and I've done sunstroke like being in the sun for like 10 minutes and stuff like that. Yeah, and this one's known for getting sunstrokes. Mm -hmm. So we do make sure when we come out here every time we get come prepared with our many bottles of water. And we do usually have snacks for the kids. So fun little fact, um, Gabrielle got lost in the trails behind us. It looks like this and there are lots of little trails along the way. Like there's a little path right there. There's one right there. Somehow. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I said they all connect somehow. It's like a, yeah, like a maze almost. Mm -hmm. you know? She was on the other, she was just on, on the other side of the trail. And then what happened? <laughs> And so, so we, we don't bother him. The group, a couple of kids, right? and everyone wanted to go back to grab a snack. And you waited. And this girl's like, Are "You okay with me going back?" But Charlotte was somewhere in the trail. I'm like, "No, I need to go find my sister. I'm sorry. Like, I can't go. I can't ditch her." So I'm going. I'm searching for Charlotte. Like, well, like everyone wanted to go to go. Oh, because it was a pizza party. Everyone wanted to go everyone get pizza. To get pizza. Yeah. And then you did what? And I was hunting for Charlotte because she was still on the trail. Well, you stayed back to go with her. You I stayed, stayed back, back to, to, look, for her, to look for her. But you didn't even know if she was really there. I was actually, actually like she, not on the she trail. Wasn't, she actually had gone somewhere. No, I know, but why did you before? think she was on the trail? Because she said she was going in. And she was like in front of us or something like that. Okay, this story is all oh, okay, over the place. Okay. As a mom, I was there. All I know is that they were all in there. And then Charlotte, I think Charlotte, didn't you go to the washroom? So what happened, like we were all in a group in the trail. And I wanted to go back because I didn't want to get lost with everyone. Because we were just going so deep into uh -huh. it. So I left. And I told him I would come back after. Yeah. So then Gabrielle thought that I was out there for some reason. Even though I was outside, she looked around. <laughs> and when she came outside, I went in. So we never saw each other for so long. So Gabrielle was stuck in the trail trying to find you walking all over the place, back and forth through the woods. And then at some point I was like, where's Gabrielle? And no one could find you guys. And then what? Oh, well, I wanted to go find her and she came out and I was lost. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, so long story short, my kid got lost inside there and then one came back out and the other one went in and got lost too. <sighs> yeah, frantic mama, but anyways, they are here. <laughs> that just made me so nervous because it's the woods, you know, and you never want your kids to get lost in the woods. So long story short, stick together when you go on trails, don't go off. And that's why when, when even growing up, I always sent two to the washroom together or stuff like that, just because it's, you know, people can get lost and you don't yeah. want people to have to, you don't want anyone to have to run out and search for you and stuff like that. Cause that can be confusing and complicated. But anyways, we, that was a great little pause. We're going to continue our walk. I love this trail because there's lots of trees that provides us like some beautiful shade along the walk. There are definitely belts of sunshine, but there's lots of shade along the way. Yeah, I think you could swing on it. You should be able to. You don't think you can hold your weight? There you go. <laughs> wow. Nice. It's actually really cool. <laughs> so we've been sitting down here at this bench it's like a circle it's like a circular area it's filled with all these benches and we've been watching like the chipmunks and the squirrels eat i think lots of people um throw 
peanuts and stuff here because if you look closely at the gravel there's lots of bits of peanuts in the in, on the ground if we had known we could have come prepared but we didn't next have time. any next time they'll remember, they'll remember. <laughs> we had like some little chips little cookies and stuff we were trying to give it something but they weren't really having it yeah, are you okay too. Zozo look the chipmunks beside you shimmer and little man he's he's fallen asleep in the stroller and this and um zoe is just like entertained by these chipmunks we could be here for ages <laughs> so cute like he's trying to go the roundabout way he's like oh i know there's food over here but i know there's a dog you guys so guys we okay oh geez see where mom life begins okay be nice to him why can't he have one why can't he share <laughs> Okay, anyways, guys, we have a mo. We already had a moment being back home in the house. Real life just keeps going. <laughs> so, anyways, we are back. And we are back. I ended up dropping um, Make to a birthday party. She's going to some. It's, that sounds so funny. It sounds like she's like five again. And I'm dropping her at a birthday party. <laughs> she went out to her friends at Montana. So, she, she's gone to like a birthday party. And Chef Bree, Chef Bree was here making sandwiches. Ooh, that looks so good. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, while we were out there becoming one with nature, we just had this grand idea to have like tuna sandwiches for lunch with cucumbers. So, that's what Gabrielle made. Ooh, girl, I need a little bit more pepper. I need I need a little bit more spice in my life. <laughs> These kids are crazy. <laughs> on another note, on another note, Charlotte and I here we love we love ice, so we got ourselves a shaved ice machine. Guys, I'm Hmm. I'm so excited. <laughs> we're so excited about this because we're gonna be able to make snow cones and just like her and I said, we're like, we don't even care so much about the like flavor syrup. we just we want the ice but we will definitely be we will be exploring yes yeah and making the Guys, exploring you get the perfect consistency yes oh my god i'm let's, so excited let's okay. open it there we go okay oh my gosh and this is like this is they gave you like a they gave you an ice cube tray oh for, that's actually cool yeah for us to do ice cubes to pop into here but we already get that from the freezer. Yes, yeah. We got the giant ones too. So, so we're gonna experiment with this real quick. We this whole thing. Anyways, guys, we basically just ate a very late lunch. It's almost supper time, and I had this chicken. Uh, what do you call it? Chicken thighs with skin, basically inside my fridge for the past two days because we were gonna use it for supper, but then it didn't thaw out in time, so I left it for that day, and then the next day was pizza day. Anyways, today's Saturday. I'm gonna. I'm about to make keto fried chicken. I'm pretty sure it's a recipe I already have up for you guys. What I'm gonna do with this chicken is I'm gonna wash it with real quick with vinegar and lemon, and then I'm gonna pat it dry, and then I'm gonna throw my seasoning on there. I'm gonna mix my seasoning, and I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and just kind of shake it around. It's gonna be kind of like shake and bake chicken, except it's with keto. And the thing that's gonna make this chicken crispy is the baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna season it as I typically would using just garlic, onion powder. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of my jerk seasoning to give it like a bit of a kick. Um, a poultry seasoning because we like to heavily season stuff. A little bit of smoked paprika, black pepper. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't use a ton of salt. 
but I use a little bit of seasoning salt and some I also like to use a little bit of the Italian seasoning because it has a lot of like the onions and all that stuff and a little bit of salt so Okay guys, so I went ahead and just laid all the chicken out. I dispersed it kind of evenly on this big tray. I usually don't use this bit larger of a tray, but this is the one that I have right now and it's perfect for it. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna, I've already sh shaken it up as you guys seen and seasoned it. It doesn't even look that heavily seasoned on camera, but it's, I put quite a bit in there. So hopefully the flavors come through and we're about to put it in the oven. It goes on. So, so it goes on 250 for about half hour. We want the chicken itself to cook and to cook, and then we're gonna put it on 450 for another for 25 minutes so it can crisp. Is the final product. The chicken skin is nice and crisp, and the chicken has a beautiful, beautiful color. And I'm so excited. <laughs>